all right everybody welcome back to the channel we're here with another part of this red dead redemption walkthrough so in between parts i did uh i actually lost the ability to play until a minute ago the five finger fillet i did play a hand of poker i lost horribly because i suck at poker don't know why i did that uh before we dive into it i'm gonna start with marshall johnson but i did want to see there is a wanted poster somewhere here there it is view wanted poster Movan Bar at Rattlesnake Ho Hollow. AD Alive, 40 Death. That's some good money. I'll accept the bounty. I do want to do occasionally some stuff like this, but most of the time I want to stick to... Uh... Where's Rattlesnake Hollow at? I don't even know where that's at. Is it super far away? Oh, it's up here. You know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to start the episode off with this. We're going to come back to Armadillo next. If I can get my horse to come up. There he is. Um, we're going to start off with this. It shouldn't take too long. I can handle this pretty quickly. Let me set a waypoint up to him, though. Didn't think about that. Come on. That'll take me at least up to him. I think I can handle anybody they throw at me. The gunfighting is not too hard in this game. Let's be honest. Oh, increase the... You've begun earning the loyalty of your mount. I didn't even know that was a thing. I took the wrong track anyways. Come on. So if, I guess if you keep the same mount and he stays alive, yeah. um, you'll have more stamina as it, you increase loyalty. I guess that's how that goes. I hope you guys enjoying this series so far. I know we're only on the second part now, uh, but I've had a good time with this so far. It's such a nostalgia trip. Come on. It's been so long since I played this game. Okay, we're going to ditch the horse. I don't want to get too close and get my horse killed. So you can't kind of sneak. I'm just going to book it. You might hear me mashing. <laughs> mashing A. How far is it up here? It says, uh, 80 alive. I kind of want to take him alive if I can. Ooh, I see people up there. Dude, are you following me? I don't want to actually... I see people. Oh, there's one. I need to reload. Are these innocent people? I hope I hope these aren't innocent people. I think they might be innocent people. Where's Mo at? Oh, freaking horse. Where's my horse at? That dude's getting away. Getting away. I gotta go back and loot those bodies afterwards, too. I don't even see him. He's getting further and further away, I think. Oh, I see him in the distance. I'm sorry, horsey. I'm gonna chase this guy for miles. Let's 
Ooh, okay. Did I hit him? There's no way I freaking hit this guy. Oh, I didn't mean to. Dang. Well, I gotta go back and loot those guys. I wanted to take him alive. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna check back on the map there. We're gonna head back over to where I started killing these guys at. Actually, I'm probably not even going to worry about it. Let's head back to Armadillo. Yeah. Take the proof. We got some bounties done. Why not? And we'll stick to Marshall Johnson next. Ooh, there's freaking bad guys on me. Because if so, we'll get wrecked. No, a horsey. I gotta want to loot the bodies. Yeah. This works. So if you take bounties, uh, their compatriots might hunt you. Ridgewood Farm. Get out of here. Let's head back to Armadillo quickly. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Come on. There's more guys. Come on, easy up there. Dude, y'all get wrecked. Y'all are getting wrecked right now. This is easy money. Can I have this? Getting four or five dollars per person. Easy money. Dude, I'm gonna take all the bounties I see, even off camera. Can I can you come here, horse? I'm trying to get on you. Yeah! I'm back to $81. Even after I lost like 25 playing poker. <laughs> Some hot garbage at it. Dude, y'all are giving me just good money here. Can you stop going away from me, horse? I kind of need you with me. And we got more guys on me. Once again. Oh, I got bucked off, didn't I? He's still alive. Not anymore. Wait, did my horse just die? Hold up. Oh, no. No. I guess I'm skimming it. Oh, no. My horse. I was wanting to keep the same horse all the way to the end. Well, I got some horse meat to sell. That's disgusting. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. How do I get a horse now? Where's the other guy? Dude. I mean, y'all are giving me so much money, but I kind of need a horse now. What have you got for me? Come on, horse. 
I need to get back to Armadillo, turn in this poster stuff so I've got I guess I could just keep on doing this. I think we're gonna move on. I do actually wanna at some point get to the end here. So I can continue missions. I don't wanna be hunted the whole freaking game here. So there's a big hunting aspect. I'm definitely gonna put some time into that off camera. Just to mess around. Go hunting a little bit. Try to get some of these outfits. I just discovered a, uh, right before I started filming again, I discovered another outfit that uh, actually helps you cheat at poker. Which is what I definitely need, because I suck at poker. Okay, I was, I was, I was accidentally shot her. Okay, there's the marshal anyways. Bounty's dead. Does that give fame? Oh, honor. Is there a bonus for honor besides just like discounts and stores like they said? Let's see. Let's talk to Marshall Johnson. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Let's do it. I think both for Marshall and Bonnie right now, it's literally just like set up missions, help them out, and they'll eventually be able to help you out. Marshall Johnson, let's go. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouth city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Thought I saw somebody on the ridge there for a second. Couldn't tell at all. More gunfights, though. I like these gunfights. Everybody dismount and follow me. Let's move up the canyon towards the fork. Let's get out our gun here. Be ready, boys. Probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short of firepower neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take the line, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. 
music to my ears, Marshall. I got this. Probably shouldn't be walking out in the open, though. <laughs> it's not a great idea. Let the marshal catch up for a second. So I'm not hugely outgunned here. Oh my lord. Dude, don't get you killed, come please. With me or go with them. Um, I'm, he's by himself. Stop I'm gonna follow. Behind. We gotta push forward. I'm gonna follow Marshall Johnson. He's outnumbered. I don't want him to die. Me and you again, Marston. Let's hope this goes as well as last time. My God. Okay, Marshal Johnson, they're down. I I, I don't yeah, care if the deputies die as much. Rock. Not anymore. Right, come on, Marston. Let's push on. Hellfire. Oh, those deputies don't need help at all. Deputies are making progress. I'd like to loot bodies while I can. I don't want to run out of repeater ammo here. Marshal Johnson, wait up, sir. God, he's like 75 and outrunning me. They're still coming! Come on, Marston! I can't take them all by myself! That won't be rusty no more. Alright, let's move down and take those bastards in the camp. Oh, I fell off the cliff. I was gonna defend Marshal Johnson. Surrender! Or I'll kill you all! You better surrender! You hear? Nice shot! Damn you. you should run off home! There's one more for the vultures. There we go. Dude, this is sick. Loot all their bodies. Get all that money. I might be able to actually forward that first pistol. I think it was only 150 for that first pistol. Anything in the camp I can pick up? Oh, there's a chest here. Can I open the chest? Ammo. Did I get any money? Ammo. Ammo. Another container. Give me some money. Dude, you said check the camp. Oh, $12. You said check the camp. What do you expect from me? Keep your eyes open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. Well, I expect them to be over there, God then. God damn it. Take out those snipers, boy. Jesus, well. Put down your guns and surrender. Don't try to be something you're not. Good shooting, boy. Where's he at? I can't see him. Sounds like the deputies could use a hand. Dude, I'm getting wrecked right now. What the freaking crap pants? Dude, I gotta shoot to the left first. Retry from checkpoint. I gotta shoot to the left first. Eyes up! Sniper! This way! I see one of them. This is insane. This is a freaking marksman right now. Okay, so I have to use medicine. There he is. You're making a big 
mistake, friend! Let's go, Larson! We gotta keep moving! I can hear more gunshots. Quick, let's go help my deputy. The deputies have it. There. I am so choking right now. He's getting really far ahead of me, though. Hold up. Put the gun away for a second. They loot their bodies. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. This is gonna be tough. I may need to buy some more medicine when I get back to the doctor. I need to actually utilize cover as well. I don't know why I'm not. What are we doing? Are we. Let me loot first. Loot first, ask questions later. Don't fall down a cliff either. I think that's all of them. Fine shooting, boys. Now come on, let's untie those hostages. Can I have this? Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Hey, looks like the. All right. What was it? Oh, 19, Yellowstone 1993? It looks like the old, uh, the father. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, a narcotic and back piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I'm I can so help you glad out with that. to be serving such a wise and respectable people. <laughs> Come on, Eli. <laughs> That's uncalled for, man. Okay. We can help these guys out a little bit. Are we? I want to loot more guys, please. Dang it! Okay, we are still here. Good. Okay, we're gonna head back to Bonnie next. I am gonna loot, like I said. Ooh, we got more fame. Nigel West Dickens can be found in Chola Springs. Wait, what? So the war horse deed. I don't want to. I don't want to end up killing the war horse. Oh, we're very close to McFarland Ranch too. That's perfect. So, there's any chests around here I can loot? Yes, there is. So 
I have $231. I am going to steal a horse, though. We're going to head back over to McFarland Ranch. Oh, there is more bodies here. What am I doing? Sorry about this, partner. I'm not. <laughs> Are you joking? This is free money right here. Just for being a criminal, I can take your money. I get very... I'm a very twisted person when I get into these video games. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to slaughter everybody just for their money. They're bad guys. Like, I, I literally get good deed rewards when I kill them. But still, I'm going to just I'm gonna just fight and slaughter everybody here. And then loot your money. Works for me. I always try to be a nice character. It doesn't matter what I'm playing. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to be a nice guy. It feels bad to be a bad person. I don't want to be a bad person. I don't think I'm a bad person, so why would I want to play this horrible villain? But at the same time, that's free money, man. Like, I'm gonna take all the bounties I can find. What is that one? What is what is that icon? Oh, that's the stagecoach. Okay. So we're gonna check out the general store real quick, and then we'll go talk to Bonnie. Oh, wrong button. That's why. Oh, we can do another patrol, too more money. Let's hitch this. I'll hitch this horse, I guess. Check out the general store. We'll do a patrol real quick. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Oh, did they just close or something? Dang it. Everything just closed. What the heck? Go tied to Bonnie. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. 
I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. So I'm turning into a ranch hand at this point. I guess that works for me. You paying off for that ruckus, Juice? All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. I never really wanted to. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but Oops, thank wrong you. Way. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Gee up! What are we doing? Yeah. Behind the herd? Why did why have I jumped over the fence? That's it! Come on! Drive them down the road, Mr. Marston! Come on! Kind of weird. Okay, it just got very loud all of a sudden. Keep sweeping behind them. That way they'll stay together. Move it up. Come on, come on, come on. Are cattle this fast? I mean, I, I guess they're, I know they're, they can move quick, but can they keep up with horses or something? Like, what do we got? You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. I refuse. Marston. Either that or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Okay, so what do we got mission wise? Come on. We got another Bonnie mission. Oh, so you can save anywhere in the wilderness. Choose camp item from your satchel and put up camp and save. Okay. We're gonna do another body mission uh, Bonnie mission. And we'll do uh Oh nice. So I get more money for jobs. I really just want to do another Bonnie mission. Then we'll head over to Nigel West Dickens. I don't think I have any outfits unlocked yet. Take a look at that, actually. Same with weapons. I need to go back to Armadillo at some point. I only have one. But outfits. Oh, I do have this one. What else do I have? Okay. Complete American Appetite Stranger's Task. Complete Twin Rocks Hideout and Search Coots Chapel. I need to purchase this. Oh, this is the one elegant suit that lets you cheat in poker. I need to purchase this from the tailor in Thieves Landing. Uh, Walton Gang, Bollard Twins, Undiscovered. 
Expert Hunter, I need to do that. I'm never gonna do this one. Okay, let's go meet Bonnie here and start another mission. I don't know, I don't know why I've started getting a uh, southern accent all of a sudden. I don't have a southern <laughs> accent. Really? Okay, 7 a.m. What time is it currently then? Okay. We will go. Why can't, this is the store, is it not? Like, why can't I, uh... I guess nothing's open at the moment. We'll go to the house and uh, save the game while we're at it. And go back and do Bonnie. There's some horseshoes thing over there. Okay, save game. Because he's six hours of rest. Yeah, why not? Overwrite the first one. I see some horseshoes thing back here. What is that? And how do we do it? Oh, there it is. We're gonna try it out. I want to explore some stuff. Tossing a horseshoe is controlled by the point of release. You can send a horseshoe further by choosing a lower release point. Oh my lord, he's good. You can fine tune the distance by pulling your arm back less. How am I supposed to fight this guy? Practice tossing. Okay. Toss a horseshoe, use R, and... Okay. That was horrible. You know what? I'll bet five. Why not? Let's go. I'm gonna choke this very badly and lose five bucks, but whatever. I can go kill like 16 guys, make the money back. Well, at least we're being fair. He's not aimbotting this crap. Oh my lord, I'm garbage. He's closer. Okay. We're gonna go it back. This is gonna be a long game. Hold up. We're gonna skip to my turn. We're gonna fine tune this uh, angle a little bit better. <laughs> okay, I choked that one. Choke that one as well. Jeez. I'm gonna lose five bucks. It's already been determined at this point. That's Ooh, that's actually pretty close. Oh, that's garbage. I got a point. Let's go ahead and skip. We're just gonna skip right to my turn. If I lose, I lose, whatever. That was garbage. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. What? I just accidentally pressed trigger. <laughs> this is so bad. Whatever. Oh, dude, I'm, I've already lost. Just go straight to my turn at this point. This is garbage. I don't want to see him sw just play this game for hours on end. Ooh, that's actually pretty close. Garbage, okay. 
He's barely ahead of me. I've already lost, though. He's going to win probably on this turn. Oop, garbage. Don't know what happened there. <sighs> well, we're gonna keep going until he wins. I don't care about losing the money. It's a waste of time on my part, though. I'm, I apologize for including this in the video. But you're gonna see how garbage I am at this game. <laughs> Dude, what in the world is going on here? Dude, it's either way off to the right or way off to the left. Dude, just get the game over with. Just win the freaking game. I'm choking very badly and you still haven't won. You've been practicing. Dude, just... Okay, freaking quit the game. Yeah, I was gonna continue playing, but this dude's taking forever just to beat me. Keep your eyes open, mister. Let's go to the doctor's office, buy some medicine real quick. Hello, Hello friend. One must take care of one's body. Like it's where the mind lives. We'll just buy one for now. Excellent. That's enough, friend. Let's go talk to Bonnie. Stop wasting time here. I hope to see you again. Here we go. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I bury more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. I'm a thousand percent in. Let's do it. It's a new mini game. I'm s I suck at most of them. The only one I'm good at so far is uh, Five Finger Folly. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Oh, we got a lasso? Yep, that's definitely Let's see a if lasso. we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch has a we gotta oh we gotta chase down the 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 wild horse, lasso him, and then break him in. Whoa! Yeah. So 
So is there different horse rarity? Like, I don't know why I said rarities. Like, it's a freaking COD game. I'm unlocking a weapon. Is there faster horses? You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret. government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? But I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. I love the amount of dialogue there is on trips around the countryside here. I mean, if you're doing a bounty, that's a different story, but just traveling with the companions or the people you meet, so many good freaking dialogue. Look at the herd. There they are! Beauties! Come on, Mr. Marston! Rope one up for me, Marston! Hold, there. Hold him there now! Keep holding that rope! That's it! What do I do? Hold on to it! Almost Tell me got what you. you got, boy! It's all right! Come on in, cowboy! Come on, let's go! Easy now! She's so got a balance on the back of the horse. That's it! Let's see it, boy! Try not to spook him too much! That's it! Don't give up! You're mine now! Yeah. Ooh, I did that it! First try, so okay. Boy. <laughs> I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on then. Let's see if you can get another one. Come on. On this yeah. again. There we go. You're a regular Bronco Buster, city boy. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. Come on. Is there a lot of wild like horses? I'm glad. Is that even a thing in the Quite U.S. anymore? Character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's a good looking no horse though. Sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. That was a good rose to be fair. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Western Broncos? That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. There well we go. Done, Mr. Marston. Back to the corral. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Heading towards Armadillo. That's what he said. Armadillo. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track Oh, I thought the Delta mission was over. We're going to break in some more horses. I'm going to just match her speed here. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there, a ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of chief governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just...
just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. See, just some just some fun dialogue, Anyways, no matter where you're my going. Wife's kinda like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. There's my boy. Come on, Mr. Marston. Where are these wild horses at? So can you lasso people? I don't Let's remember. Where's this herd at? I see it on the mini-map, but where are they actually at? I'm just gonna follow their lead the whole time. If they got somewhere they want to take them. I'll give you a signal when we're ready for them. I'll see you there, miss. Slow up. Oh, they disappeared. They are gone, gone. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Push him into the canyon here. Let's go. There we go. That worked. Am I supposed to lasso him? Come on. Let's get up to him really quickly, waste some stamina. Just chill out. You're mine now. I ain't trying to get bucked off. I'm trying to keep 100% success right here. Daddy. There we go. There. Go to Bonnie. Come on, buddy. You follow me. Good job. I like. I like the color of this horse. Here's Bonnie. There she is. Today, Mr. Marston, we got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. 
Okay. So I think we got uh, Nigel West Dickens as our next person slash objective. Six horses herded. More honor. No fame for that, do we? I hear some coyotes. Come on. Nope. Gotcha. We're gonna go hunting. So you can I know you can sell this stuff. Oh lord. This is nasty. <laughs> well that's nasty. Okay. I I don't know if we want to actually go ahead and do Nigel West Dick because we might stop by an armadillo. Uh and call it for this part. We're getting... Yeah. Oh, gunshots. What's going on? Come on? How good are you with Irish? Very. I bet you can't beat Irish Shelton in shooting. I'll bet oh, you it's money. on. Let's go for it. Accept challenge. How can I refuse a challenge like that? Oh. I need to probably switch to the carbine. Right on the wing. Keep practicing. You'll get there eventually. Hey, all right, here's your winning. Okay, shooting challenges. Got anything else? I'd like to keep going. Uh, check sharpshooter challenges. Shoot and kill five flying wild birds. We've already done three. Oh, five coyotes is matter master hunter. Okay. I can kill some wild birds. It's easy with the cowboy repeater. I just gotta keep an eye out for birds. Let's head back to Armadillo. Oh, I never, uh... I think there's some birds here I can skin. Take feather. More stuff I can sell, I'll take it. I don't know what you can do with these hawk feathers, but... We'll find out. Take everything I can get. If I can sell it, I'll take it. I'm a loot rat. Loot goblin like always. Okay, keep an eye out for wild birds. I'm going to head back to Armadilla. Actually, I'll probably just cut it for now. Um, Is that gunshots or what? Sounds like gunshots. Hey, it's in the Wild West. There's always gunshots. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time with Nigel West Dickens. We're going to head over there. So, take care, guys.